So reach is gone, the support is not that great, and everyone and their mom is getting verified on Instagram and Facebook. And that's because in the mind of a lot of people, the blue verified badge still symbolizes status. And my prediction is over the next six to 12 months, that blue verified batch will continue to lose value. So we have to talk about Meta Verify. There's been some updates and changes that you guys really need to know. So about a month ago, I made a video talking about Meta Verify, which is a brand new subscription service that Meta, the parent company for Instagram and Facebook launch, allow you to basically get verified on Facebook or Instagram for about $12 per month. I mean, for $12 per month, you would get additional reach, a verified badge, you would also get access to support plus additional benefit. But guess what? Things have changed already. Now, I personally don't have access to Meta Verified yet, even though I'm in the US and it recently launched in the US, but I reached out to some of my friends who do have access to Meta Verified They'd had access in the beginning when it first launched. And one of those people is Josh Ryan. You guys should definitely go and check out some of his videos below. He makes a lot of great videos about Instagram, how to get more reach and followers and all of that. And because he had early access to Meta Verify, he subscribed to the service to test it out. And in his video, he explains all the different benefits that Meta Verify was claiming. So after clicking on that, it pops up with a screen that'll show you all the five badge, profile protection against impersonation, increased reach due to visibility in comments and in search, direct support with a real person for issues that affect your account. And this is a big one that most of the people will happily pay for just for that alone. Now, one of the biggest selling points for Meta for this service was not only getting verified on both Instagram and Facebook, but getting more reach. So technically you pay $12 per month, you get your verified batch and you get additional reach for all your posts for Instagram and Facebook. Well, guess what? Before launching in the US, they decided that they were going to remove that reach benefit from the subscription plan. One of the main selling points for me was to pay the $12 per month just to get access to Facebook support. People who can actually solve problems with Facebook pages, my Facebook profile, or even Instagram if I'm having issues. But what I'm hearing from people who have access to Meta Verify, who have reached out to support, it turns out that the support is really not as great as they made it out to be. In fact, I uploaded a video talking about how you can contact Facebook support, and it seems to be that the type of support you're getting for your $12 per month, it's pretty much the same. But over the years, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in Facebook advertising, and yet support still sucks. So reach is gone, the support is not that great, and everyone and their mom is getting verified on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, I've seen Facebook and Instagram accounts with less than 200 followers being verified for no reason whatsoever. They don't have a business, they don't make content, and that's because in the mind of a lot of people, the blue verified badge still symbolizes status. So a lot of people who don't have the need to get verified on Instagram and Facebook are paying the fee just to get that blue verified badge. Because I make content, I'm a YouTuber, I have at least one or two fake accounts being made under my name every single month. Reaching out to my followers, trying to sell scams, crypto scams and all of this. So when I saw that one of the benefits from Meta Verify was impersonation protection, it made sense to me. In fact, I feel like I have to pay for it just to avoid the headache of fake accounts under my name trying to scam my followers. It's basically like Mark Zuckerberg putting a gun to my head saying either you pay for this or you're still gonna have this issue. So yes, I'm still gonna sign up for Meta Verify out of necessity, not because I want to, not because I wanna put $12 per month in Mark Zuckerberg's pocket. So if you're watching this, should you pay $12 per month for Meta Verify? My answer to you is, it depends because if you don't make any content, you don't have a business, you barely post on Instagram or Facebook, then no, you're simply going to be putting more money in Meta's pocket. Now, if you're a content creator like myself or you own a business, you use Instagram or Facebook for business to make money and you need to protect your account and your followers. Yeah, you're pretty much in the same boat as me. You have to pay for this to not only protect yourself, but also your followers. And my prediction is over the next six to 12 months, that blue verify batch will continue to lose value because as more and more people pay for this blue verify batch just to flex online. And what's gonna happen is over the next six months, there's gonna be a lot of new people subscribing to Meta Verify just to get that blue badge. But then a lot of people who don't need it will start unsubscribing because they won't see the point of paying $12 per month for a simple, blue verify badge. So if you have access to Meta Verify and you're paying for the subscription, 
Let me know in the comment section below how's it going for you. Do you think it's worth it? And will you continue to pay for this service over the next few months? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.